What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here and welcome back to the channel. So today I got a action figure review for you. This is on the Hasbro G.I. Joe Retro line. And of course this is Wave 2 and we have Destro here and uh, you know, it was a crazy summer for me and of course i totally missed out on wave one but uh wave two uh which i thought was going to be slotted for december 1st i know right now you could pre-order it and these are all walmart exclusive uh they just started hitting the shelves at walmart so if you guys are looking for this uh second wave of the gi joe retro collection or retro line excuse me in the three and three quarter inch uh you know scale then i would definitely start looking at your walmarts because they started just putting them out there which uh i was kind of surprised and uh this is the one that i found right here Destro which you know I'm pretty I'm pretty much more uh, uh, you know looking for the core uh, characters and of course you know Scarlet and uh, Roblox are the other figures that are being released uh, for the second wave and then of course they have a fig uh, the vehicle which is the uh, pretty much the Fang helicopter that comes with the Cobra uh, you know trooper but here we have uh, Destro and of course you know this right here is is obviously an homage to uh, the original uh, G.I. Joe that were released back in the 80s. Uh, Destro did come out in Series 2. Uh, he was released in 1983, but he actually was out in the market in 1984 and 1985. Uh, and then, of course, you know, this guy right here uh, was uh, domestically was discontinued back in 1986. Uh, he did debut in a 20-back uh, and then a 34-back, which I'll show you pictures right here. Uh, pretty much, as you can see, side by side you could tell the difference uh on the car back here uh the art is pretty much the same of course you know the bubble style is a little bit different uh, originally he just came with a laser gun and a case uh, of course here now he's coming with more accessories and then he actually has a little stand which i think is really really dope that they added that to these uh the retro uh line and so you know the front i mean it's almost the exact same of course you know it doesn't say cobra enemy back in the day it just said you know enemy uh and and so this guy was the weapon supplier and on the back here you know comparing it to the 30 or the 20 back and the 34 back uh it's a little bit different obviously it's a little bit uh kind of reversed here you do have the bio card which was originally down at the bottom and then of course you had all the characters up on top uh this one's a little bit different from has bro i mean the new one uh the 2020 version because they do have the bio card in different multiple languages and of course these are the six figures that are uh so far right now released so these were the first three on wave one and then these are the uh next three that are doing right now for wave two but uh pretty interesting and like i said these uh the photographs are are from uh yojo.com so like you know i gotta give credit for the photographs but it's a great uh website if you're looking for vintage uh information on gi joes or even if you're looking for information on modern gi joes they do have their website updated so really awesome and of course you know i just want to give them a shout out uh for the pictures and everything like that but here's distro and and obviously you could tell that he's got a, a good amount of accessories uh i can see you know he's got his rifle there uh he's got the scope he's got a buttstock and then he's got his carrying case uh and then not only that but as you can see right here he does have a actual stand with his name and that's how they're 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 coming you know packaging and everything like that which i think it's a really awesome idea that they actually have their little stands and stuff like that so uh very interesting and uh i can't wait to to check this guy out so what i'm gonna do is uh let me just go ahead get everything out of the uh package and then uh let, let's you know take a closer look at this action figure all right guys so there he is on the stand i put all the weapons accessories inside the weapon case just to show you how it looks when everything's inside but uh you know this thing looks pretty i mean this store looks really good i mean for being a three and three quarter inch figure i mean the articulation's uh pretty damn good uh, of course you know there's going to be some limitations but i think overall this thing looks really amazing uh like i said i love the base i love that they added that because you know you do have something uh to display them on with their name and everything like that so let me show you the base here uh, like I said these figures do have uh, dual peg holes at the bottom of their foot and then of course you know 
you do have this base here that you could use and it does have one peg right there which is really nice this is a, a soft not a soft plastic excuse me but it is a hollow plastic uh, as you can see and it's very very light so uh, this is done really really nice and I love that they added that so you have the base and then of course you know you do have the uh, weapon case which is really nice here uh, and so here's the weapon case you know pretty much all blacked out and which is nice is that they did, they did add this metal bar right here and it's not just the, the hinge is just all plastic because then it'll tend to kind of you know break and whatnot but inside of it, it is done really really nice as you can see right there you have all the weapons and all the accessories all laid out in their individual compartments now there are two accessories in here that do not you know attached to the actual rifle uh that is this right here these dual magazines and then i want to say this piece right here that uh this is probably just a, a a set of rounds and so forth but you can take them out if you want to uh but they they are pegged in there so that is pretty cool that you are actually able to take them out you just can't attach it to the rifle uh so here is the uh the dual magazines as i said uh so there it is really nice good details there uh, and then you just peg it into a slot and then up here uh, I'm, I'm assuming these are rounds because it is all black and everything, but uh, I think that's what it is Unless it's like a stick of C4, but it's a little too long to be uh, some C4 But I think this is pretty much just a, a set of rounds right there And then everything else uh, that is attached to the weapon or you can attach to the weapons are not pegged in They're just out there loose. So let me just go ahead and dump everything so I could show you and uh, let's see if the rifle comes out but it, it, it fits really nice as there you go see so that is really really cool I love that case <clears throat> so here's the rifle uh, really nice and like I said you could display it just like this you know you don't have to add the attachments but uh, you do have the little uh, notches right there for the uh, bipod and then you do have uh, attachment there for the scope and then of course on the back you have the attachment for uh, the you know the buttstock so let me show you the buttstock here it is and then of course you just insert it right there and there you go really cool uh, on top you have the scope so you could just go ahead and insert it save it probably this way yeah and then there you go there is a scope and then like I said the bipod you could just go ahead and and it's nice that there's a little hinge there because you can have it down or you could just move it forward so if you're you know having them hold it, it doesn't get in the way so really cool really nice little detail there uh, this row here again really nice Good details, lots of paint. You know, he's got his frags right there. He's got a couple of missiles. He's all armed out. Uh, and then, of course, he's got a little, uh, you know, holster there for a pistol. Now, uh, articulation is really good with this guy. Uh, like I said, there are going to be some limitations. Uh, like down at the uh, up here at the head, uh, he is able to swivel side to side, but he can't look down or look up. That's it. That's all you get. So side to side swivel. Uh, down at the shoulders is really nice because you can bring his arms out uh, you can bring them in so it is on a nice ball joint so you do have that option right there but this is pretty much as close as you can get it um, down at the elbow here you do have a nice swivel and of course it's on another uh, ball joint so that's cool and then at the hands you do have another ball joint uh, down at the waist it is pretty good here uh, you do have a, a swivel though but you can definitely look down like you know bend down and then you could definitely arch his back so that is really cool down at the legs he does have another ball joint uh, and then of course at the knee which I'm pretty impressed that he does have a, a dual uh, knee joint right there so that is really cool and then of course down at the ankles he does have another ball joint so overall I mean pretty damn good for uh, like I said for a three and three quarter inch scale uh, figure there's there's a, a good uh, amount of you know articulation amount of range that you have uh, he does have a peg hole back here I'm not really sure what is that for because his rifle does not have a peg hole or a peg excuse me to peg it on like if he was just gonna have it like this so uh, just pretty interesting that he does have one I don't know maybe it's just there's a tiny screw in there maybe maybe there it is uh, uh, so there he is man really cool and of course you know on the hands he, he can hold his uh, his rifle now what I have noticed is that with the buttstock it is kind of a little annoying uh, to to have him hold it but he can hold his rifle pretty good uh, and then of course you do have the extra hand there to probably hold uh, you know the, the handguard here underneath the rifle let me do that first and then put this here come on 
So there you go. So you you, you can have them do it, uh, but you know sometimes the the uh, buttstock does kind of get in the way. Uh, so it is it is kind of a, a newsome but you just kind of have to like finagle it and, and play with it and not and whatnot and, and try to get that position see it just falls off so I, for me i think it's better just displaying them without the uh the buttstock um unless you're going to get them into different positions but uh that's that's pretty much it i think that's the only thing i have with that is just the, the little buttstock you know not staying in place you know when he's holding his rifle uh but other than that i mean that's pretty much it uh, probably it's gonna be a lot better if you put it on the other hand let me see if that works let me see that's gonna actually work let me see get these grenades out of the way so yeah so that's actually pretty better that that that, that probably works right there you know what I'm saying? So then you just kind of figure out how you want to hold it. But I think his trigger hand is right there, his trigger finger. So, uh, but that's that's it, man. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not a, it's not a big deal. Um, probably just display it, you know, with the weapon broken down and stuff, or just have everything inside the case. You know, it's really it's like up to you guys. You know how you want to display them. But I think overall, it, it's it's pretty damn good for a three and three quarter inch figure. I'm trying to get him in that one nice little pose here where he's actually holding it. Uh, let me see if I can get it. And then put them on the stand here. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, man, I mean, overall, I think it's a really awesome uh, figure. Hopefully, I can find the other two at Walmart. Like I said, if you guys are uh, looking for these guys, definitely start looking at your Walmart because they're just starting to hit shelves. I know right now you could pre-order them, uh, but, you know, I I don't know if Walmart is just doing their own thing and they're just like, hey, let's just throw them out there in the shelves. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support, and I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video.